Okay guys, let's go shopping. It is a rainy day, as usual. In Texas, it's been raining for breakfast. First, let's get out of the driveway before my husband telling me I need to get gas. Because I told him not to buy me gas yesterday. Because my husband doesn't care about money. He just likes to spend. Me, on the other hand, I have 700 fuel points at Kroger's. And if he were to pump gas and not spend that, save that 70 cents, oh, we would like, I would just, yeah, you know. So, I'm in a crop case. So in my house, there is a rule. If you leave food in the refrigerator and it's your leftovers, the other person will eat it out of spite. They won't even want it. But you'll go in the refrigerator to check and see if it's there and it's gone and you're pissed and the other person's just laughing. So before my husband could do this to me, because we had Papa Seafood last night, and if y'all watch my video when I went to, um, what do you call it, Walgreens? I was so sleepy. Oh, do y'all know what we're doing? I probably didn't say that. We're going to Walgreens. My husband drove my truck last night. I'm gonna fix my mirrors. So yeah. I'm eating this crab cake because he would have ate it out of spite and laughed when I went to go look for it in the refrigerator. So, um. This damn crab cake is good. If y'all have a Papa seafood wherever you go, I mean, wherever you live, you should eat a Papa crab cake. Because the first time I had them was. I don't know, like a month ago. And we all know. Right now it is 11:13. If it was 7:13, I'd have a Pepsi. Most people go to Starbucks. I don't care, Dunkin' Donuts, wherever you go, they get a coffee. Or I start every morning with a Pepsi. Every morning. One moment. Oh, my husband's going to get gas. He's taking my son somewhere. Since my husband works every weekend, he work, he's only off on Sundays. Let me honk at him. Um, I left him with the kiddos today. I was like, no, babe. And he laughed. He goes, really? You're just going to leave me? I said, you need quality time with the girls. I got work to do. And he laughed and I pulled off. And then he said, you need gas. So, as I finish my crab cake, I even brought the tartar sauce with me. No, cocktail sauce. I thought I was going to use it, but I didn't. So, I'm taking y'all with me because I got a weird request to like film my day of couponing so I have a photo shoot to do today because we all know I do photography on the side and it's raining in spots and I know it's probably gonna like pour down later when I'm supposed to do it, it never fails so I figured I'd go do my coupon in first. I'm going to Food Town and I haven't decided if I'm going to CVS. I was so tired yesterday. We're going to my coupon guy right now. People always wonder where I get my coupons from. And my little friend right here, I come every, well, I'm lying, I'm lying. I have not been to him in like two or three weeks because I was in Vegas. Oh crap. 
Okay, my camera got moved because of that big wide U-turn. Okay, so people hate when you do this, but I put my blinkers light on because he's at like a red light and we stop. But in my community where I live, we're, we know that we're buying papers from our local paper guy. And I like to support him because this is his job, man. How are you? I'm fine, you. Good. I hope it doesn't start pouring down later. Uh, it's, well. it's supposed to? Later on this afternoon. <laughs> and tomorrow's going to rain all day. We've just had too much rain. Go ahead. I thought I had a $5 bill, but I don't. I just have one. So, uh -huh. one, two, three, four, five. I'll take two. Two? I think there's two books this week. Three books. Okay. You have a good week. You do. I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, -bye. That's five, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So that's my paper guy. I had a five, but I think my daughter got me. I really do. She's really good about that, but I guess she learned it from her mama. Because um, when daddy gives us money, we don't give him back the change. <laughs> so, anywho, I come to my paper guy. I do have um, my normal coupon friend that I get some inserts from. But I like to get some from him, number one. Uh, he's been working here forever and a day and let me turn these things off and um, I like to get the ads because sometimes I print them but I don't want to waste ink and this way in the paper all the ads come in the paper so I can see the CVS ad and the Walgreens ad without getting to the store and having to look at it even though I already have it because I printed it but yeah, so that was where I got my coupons from. And I feel bad for the person. I need some gum. That crab cake, and I just brushed my teeth. Damn, it was good. Nothing like a crab cake at 11 in the morning. And I have a date later. Me and my husband, I told him, we're having a date at 5 o'clock. And he said, what kind of date? I said, we're going to have a date to clean our room. <laughs> Thank God neither one of us are one of those OCD people. Because we have a bad habit of leaving things where we drop them. Not messy, but just not neat. So we have a date at 5 o'clock. And before I left, I said, don't forget about our date. And he laughed and he goes, we'll see. We both renege on that a lot. And do any of you, I have 13 miles to empty, but I just do not feel like putting gas right now. Do y'all push it to see how far that last little bit of miles to get you? See, my truck says, I drive an Expedition. And I know my truck. My truck is loyal and faithful to me. We can go like 20 or 25 miles before we will run out. Now, knock on wood, I haven't ran out of gas in big, I call it the big daddy truck. And the reason why I call it the big daddy truck is because we have five kids in it. <clears throat> we have three rows, but what's funny is ever since we bought this truck, about two years ago we rarely have all five kids in the truck together so it's kind of funny but i've always drove an suv and i can't switch back to a car no never i like to be the smallest person and the biggest thing on the road that's just me is my camera shifting i feel like it's shifting because we're getting ready to go over a railroad track Now we're gonna be crooked. I think I am gonna go ahead and get gas. 
And if anybody is wondering if it's safe, I'm basically talking and driving, like talking with the hands free. I'm don't, I rarely, I do drive with two hands when I'm on the freeway. Camera decided to cut off, I don't know why, but yeah. I decided to come get gas. I wasn't going to, but there was a car turning in front of me to go to the gas station, so I said, what the hell? I will just get gas now. I like this song. I don't know the words, but I like it. I'll be sleeping on the left side of the bed. Open doors for me and you might get some kisses. Don't have a dirty mind. I just know she said something about you gotta treat me like a lady, even when I'm acting crazy. But, oh, here we go. Forty-three, seventy-four. That's pretty good. So here we go. We've bought the paper. And do you smile at people? I always smile at people because I'm like that. Because sometimes when you go to certain places and people don't smile, I'm just like, ew, she's a bitch. But really, she's not. She could be like the nicest person on the planet, but she's just, she's not friendly. And I think everybody should be friendly, but that's just me. The world would be a better place if everybody was friendly. We got our paper, I ate my crab cake, I got gas. Now we are going to food town. And yes, I ate my crab cake out of spite. And my husband said when I was getting in the car, oh, so you're just gonna eat the crab cake, huh? I said, yeah. He goes, it's 11. I said, I know. If I don't eat it, you will eat it and laugh when I go looking for it. Gotcha. Babe, if you're watching this video, which I know you probably won't, he's not really a social media type of person. He doesn't even know how to work like Instagram and Facebook. So, yeah, if you're watching this, Haha, ha, sucka. The joke's on you because I ate my own crab cake. Two hands, guys. I'm on the freeway. And they're... And they are doing some major construction over here down this way where I'm going. They're building, like, new freeway things. Oh, I like this song. And I'll tell you all about it when I see We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Okay, we're pulling into Food Town. Looking a little crowded, but it's Sunday. A lot of people do their shopping on Sundays. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when I pull down a parking lot, if I get a front parking spot, it means it's meant for me to be here and everything that I came to get in the store is going to be there. And then sometimes I'm like, I don't like to park in the back. It's just so far of a walk. Zero. That's the maintenance and especially the when it's going to rain Clearly so I'm going to circle the lot because there's some people leaving and especially this one car is BMW loading their groceries and they're going to bag out no cost maintenance is for up to four years or 50,000 miles see bmwusa.com slash ultimate service for terms and conditions the ultimate dealer man people are grocery BMW shopping today momentumbmw.com wow that's a fax machine. And I'm just yep. looking for a parking spot. For a home loan. But Janet just showed me this new thing from Wells Fargo called Your Loan Tracker, where she uploads the sun's kind of peeking out and signs important things electronically. 
Well, why don't you use that? Oh, curb oh, check. I'm not with Wells Fargo. That's what happens when you what? drive big trucks. You're a loan tracker from Wells Fargo. The whole you hit curbs. Just oh, look, lucky me. Guess what? These people are leaving. Tracker. You know what that means? That means it's meant for me to be here. It is meant for me to be here, and I'm getting my toothbrushes. And I will take over the whole aisle. What's gotten into you? And nobody can come until it's my turn to get my parking spot. Changes your whole perspective. Okay. Don't you hate that you're waiting for a parking spot and then somebody comes and they just turn in there and you're like, oh, I guess you didn't see my blinker on this whole time waiting for the parking spot. I'd park in the back if it wasn't gonna rain because I don't want to walk out and it's gonna rain and have to like try to run to my car. Okay, guys. So let's get our binder so everybody could stare at us when we go in the store and be like, "Ew, it's one of those couponers." And first, we do a coupon check to make sure that the coupon is actually in there because that is the worst thing that can happen. Is a All right, guys, let's go to the store. Oh, I'm just saying, they had to be sold out. And they raised the price to 89 cents, and it was 69 cents. Guess they thought saw that they were giving out free toothbrushes. Oh, well. I'm about to ask them to go look in the back. Uh -huh. 125. 125, and I got a coupon. Not a dead trip because we're getting some free down. Look at all of this steel. Okay, so we just left out of Food Town, and let's just say it was total chaos. And 
I'm going to start driving because I have a photo shoot at one and I will tell you about Food Town while we drive. First off, I held up the entire line, which you know me, I never care about that. But they had to manually put all of my coupons because the amount of the coupon exceeded the price of the downy. So, anywho, the manager came and I was like, I hope they take my coupons because I just paid for the girl's stuff in front of me. I did a good deed. The girl didn't have enough money for her big blue 12 pack and some brownies or something. I don't know. So, she was going to go put it back and she did to get a two liter instead. And I was told the cashier, hey, don't put that in your like return cart. I'm going to pay for it sometimes you just have to do a good deed so when the girl came back I paid for it. I was like hey just add whatever it is the difference I'll pay for it so that was my good deed for the day actually you know what I did two good deeds because I did one yesterday um, but anywho yeah so then when it was time to ring up my coupons they did not scan and that was like uh, my coupon matches the item but I knew that that was probably going to happen because um, see that's why I hate pulling out into these kinds of things into the middle of the things because nobody ever freaking lets you go like come on people be freaking not you know what I don't even have to go this way I can go this way to my house back way to my house because people are just rude but yeah so all my coupons scanned after well they didn't scan they had to manually put them in because the coupon was for more than what the item was because the items were on sale but the managers read it and they overrode it and then they had to come back and push some more buttons because I had over ten dollars in coupons so anyways it was a win-win situation I got what I wanted except for the toothbrushes but no big deal because I still was able to get a good deal on my trip this to food is time. everything so that I got from the food town trip downy chips and Mountain Dew it was exciting What kind of construction is this? 